Good morning. My app, a are back. Here's the plan. Almost the whole crew is focused in and around the pool, the gazebo, the outside bathroom. Uh, just a few guys doing painting elsewhere and our electrician, Papa Jess, uh, still working inside the house. But everybody else is either working in the area behind me or they're preparing materials for the area behind me. Today, the gazebo roof gets underway. And of course, many other things. What could possibly about an hour into the day and the gazebo roof is off and running starting to get those first outside trusses uh, attached and well in place and then attached I think they'll get quite a lot of this finished today I would guess the material they're using uh, for this these trusses is not stainless steel it's what they term tubular steel although it's clear square edged tubes or rectangular edged uh, and they have on site yesterday pre-painted all of these with a waterproofing material to try and give them a little bit of an extended life as for the last couple of days most of the crew is focused outside the house here we've again got Tony and Mark uh, sticking tiles into place so they do the test fit uh, and then go back and once everything's been rechecked and properly apply the tile adhesive and then beyond that we've got Mr. Ronell and Coelito are working over in the uh, new outside bathroom on anything to do with drainage or water supply and on this side of the pool, we have engineer Raphael and a moment ago, Frederick, doing the painstaking work of marking out the location and size and shape of all of the tiles. It is a tricky, time-consuming process, but they're getting there. Once again, skirting board installation is on hold. They've got almost all of the crew working on the area in and around the pool and the gazebo. So this has to wait. Pretty much the only guys working in the house at the moment are Herwin here. Yet more sanding uh, of the walls, in this case, around the door into Sabrina's room. I think Ernie's in here somewhere and around in Jack's room, just to my right. That's Jess working again on lights, this time inside Jack's bathroom. I forgot one. How could I forget? Mr. Willie working on skim coat here, just outside the small bathroom in the sunroom. So, in fact, with the exception of the three guys doing painting inside, plus Papa Jess, plus I think it's three guys working on external painting. All of the rest of the crew are working uh, out and, uh, in and around the pool and the gazebo. And we do have a full-size crew today, which right now is 20 in total. It's just a little bit after lunch and this roof really has come on enormously. So all of the trusses are now in place. And now they're putting in the cross beams, the sea purlins, to go between those trusses and support the roof. The roof will be a similar material to the one that was used on the house. The sea purlins are not treated for rust. Uh, I am informed by the engineer it's not necessary and they did the same thing on the house itself. Whether that is because it is entirely protected by the roof material itself, I'm not sure. But that's the message I got. But they have made a ton of progress here. 
in just a morning. I mean, we do have six or seven guys working on this uh, at the moment. So you do expect to see uh, things moving along, but it's moved along probably quite a bit faster than I might have expected. After another morning of cutting tiles, we've now got a pattern beginning to appear on this side of the bridge. So Frederick has been working on that and he's been getting a lot of help this morning from our engineer, Raphael, who's been doing a lot of the measuring for the pattern here. And if you can make it out, it's marked out on the concrete what the pattern should be. It is intensely fiddly. Here on the opposite side of the pool, the tiles are now fixed in place almost to the bridge. We're very close to getting to this bridge. A lot more progress, we really are. Zipping along with tiles. Well, a change of plan, or at least as far as I was concerned, a change of plan. Richard has come inside from helping out on the gazebo roof and has made a start on those skirting boards. So we've now got just a little bit done down this side and around the corner, cut to size if not fixed in place yet. And a little bit down here. We're underway with skirting boards. That's rather nice. Oh, and then we've got the small decision of what color should they be? which I'm not going to get involved in. My beautiful Sal will make that decision. I don't mind. Light brown, dark brown, doesn't bother me. So we have a couple of guys from the glass company. I know you can only see one, trust me. There's at least a couple. And they're here on Jack's balcony, working on the handrails. So all down the front has been done. Take it as you feel, hold on. All along this side has been done. So the one that's being cut to shape now, another dizzy pill guys, come on, here we go. I have no idea where that one's going. We'll find out in a while. It's just after 4.30. The bell has gone. The guys are not out of here. We've got half the crew sticking around. We'll come to that in a moment. Before we do, a contribution again from Bob Twed, Philippines 101, who says, a guy walks into a lumber yard and says, I want some two by fours. The salesman says, how long do you want them? The guy says, well, a long time. We're building a house. And with that, let's see what's still occurring. This is the clip that doesn't want to exist. This is now take four. First clip, too much wind noise in the microphone. Second clip, no sound at all. Third clip, battery died. Let's see what goes wrong with this one. Anyway, here at the gazebo slash dirty kitchen slash party venue, uh, the trusses and sea purlins are all in place. Now Jay, who's on the crew today, in fact he was one of the four guys who built the pool. And then he's not part of the regular crew, but he's back today. He's just told me it's all done. Well, it's not quite all done because they're still doing little bits of welding here and there. But it's pretty close. Next step, I think, will be gutter. And after that, maybe it will be the actual roof material itself. We'll have to wait and see for that. I'll get an update from the engineer tomorrow. 
but we're getting close to having a proper structure for this gazebo. Seeing Enrico's up on the roof of the bathroom, the outside bathroom, removing forms. We'll see if we can get a slightly better view of what this looks like now. Tiles around the outside of the pool are now all in and fixed in place to this side of the small bridge. We'll go and see how they're getting on on the opposite side. Well, the answer is they've already started setting some of the tiles here into the dry pack. So already heading around beyond this bridge which means we are definitely more than halfway round now. There is just no avoiding the noise of cutting tiles over the last few days. The double doors going from the dining room into the kitchen have had some paint put on them. Not sure I'm entirely happy with that if it's a finished design. Maybe there's a bit more to be done. I could be wrong, it has been known, but I believe the handrail that the guys were working on earlier on now on Jack's balcony is actually to be located here in the double height entrance area. But again, still lots more that needs to be finished in this area before that glass and then the handrail can be put in place. Richard's been busy this afternoon in the master bedroom. He has got all of the skirting board except for that tiny little area in the highlight uh, wall. All of it now has skirting board, baseboard, provisionally tacked in place all the way around the room. Not yet ahead of us into the walk-in closet. That, I guess, might be next. Right, I'm staring into blazing sunshine, so I'm not quite sure whether this will come out clearly. But there we go, the forms are all off of that roof. Rico's just, uh, well, I say all, he just looks like he's removing the last little piece uh, over on the right-hand side. So, outside bathroom, with roof. Well, mostly with roof. Still quite a bit of finishing, obviously, to be done. I just had a wander around the house and this wall is really the last one that doesn't look like a finished wall. Now, none of the paint on any of the walls is top coat, finishing paint. It's all still prime coat, but this is the only one that still has the kind of dirty, gray, splotchy look to it. Apart from up in this top left corner where it's nice and clean and white all the other outside walls, with a few small exceptions in a couple of areas, now looks like a white house. Which it won't be, it'll be a cream house. But it's looking increasingly like the beginnings of a finished outside house. Minus lots of scaffolding. Okay. So that's kind of the end of the day. Uh, three or four guys still here doing bits and pieces uh, on this roof frame, but in general, I think it's just final little bits of extra welding and a bit of tidy up. Not a lot more to be seen here. Over by the pool, they will continue with tiling, probably for another hour or so. But that's the day, we'll call it here and come back tomorrow and see what develops next. Thank you to Elsie Gil Gilbert for putting a comment in yesterday that said it was a roof delicious day so we're gonna take that and steal it and make it rooflicious it was a rooflicious day today see you tomorrow